everybody, it's Brett here from Metropole. Well, let me ask you a couple of quick questions. If you were driving down the highway and your car started to make a funny noise and you didn't have a clue what it was, would you research and find out what it was or would you just take it to a professional? If you were appearing in court um, and you were being prosecuted, would you represent yourself or would you seek professional and someone who's been there and done that a hundred times before to help you? Unless you're a mechanic or a lawyer, um, your answer to that question is probably no. So why do property investors feel like that they can also um, do things on their own? I guess there's a number of you know reasons and you know, price and other types of things and time, and, but I guess it really comes down to ego. I know a lot of first-time investors who have maybe been successful themselves, they may have been doctors, they may have been successful in their business or in their professional field, um, feel that they can translate those skills into property investing, but unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. Equally, we get people who have achieved a level of success, they have a bit of a portfolio already, and they feel like they're going in the right direction. I know we sat down with a, an investor recently who really thought the same way. They had six investment properties, they didn't need our help, they just wanted to go and buy another property. Um, and most property experts, and I guess a lot of buyers agents who are really just order takers, would have just gone out and purchased that property. But what we suggested was to take a step back first. We used our professional experience and perspective to actually analyse their portfolio to make sure it is going to get them to their end goal. And what we found out that was their assets were only performing around that 3 to 4% mark. They weren't performing and they weren't working hard enough. And when we fast tracked further forward, we realised that they're not going to achieve their goals. So what we did was we took a step back, we advised them that they need to transition their asset base into a high growth model. We showed them how they could really get investment grade assets and A grade assets that are gonna grow in value by maybe one or two percentage points more. And in a 20 year period, it was a two to two and a half million dollar difference, a huge difference. And importantly, that was the time frame they were looking to invest in and they now were able to achieve their long term goals and they were able to retire with a passive income in that period of time. So we added considerable value. Property is not, I guess, a, a fun sport. It's not something you can do. You, you do need a professional by your side that has that level of experience and perspective and actually shows you and, and, and educates you on the numbers to do. It would have been easy to go out and buy that person a property, but instead we transition their asset base and then we're able to add further value to their portfolio. Most people, I guess, are in a professional field have done it for 10,000 hours. They're professionals, they've been working for a decade at what they're doing. If you're doing four or five hours work for property a week or you're, you're hoping to catch up at some stage, it, it's just never going to happen. So if you are looking to achieve a greater level of wealth, just like you would in any other space, hire a professional who's going to help you get there significantly faster and give you an independent view of how you can achieve that as well. Thanks for watching.